if you have sore throat, this is from my garden. All for you. If you put outside, then it, the rain will come inside. <laughs> and when you open it, <laughs> the rain will <laughs> go all over you. This is more beautiful, more appetizing. Yes. Yeah, like that. It's never covered a cherry tomato because it's beautiful. Okay, you go for everybody. Okay. Mmm, okay. yum, 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 yum. Are you happy, yeah? Yes! yes. Good food? Yes! yes. <laughs> this is your house. Mikasa is Sukasa. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, he can eat the whole pack. If you help others, your marriage will be double, triple, uh, multiply, multiply for generations. Original or uh, religions never advocate violence. Yeah, they always have the five or ten precepts. You understand? The first one is, "Thou shalt not kill." I love you. Always love you. I could die for you. That kind of love. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten direction, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Uh, this morning I closed the gate and I forgot I closed it and he just sat right next to the gate so cold on the cement. Yeah, and didn't go back to your soft bed. So far, no, you didn't. Come on, my eyes right here. Such a beautiful boy and didn't make noise even. Tonight you're not preaching again. Understand that? Huh? I preach is enough, okay? <laughs> he also wants to contribute. <laughs> he wants to tell you good things. Yeah, or emphasize what I say is correct, is good, you should listen, you should practice. Yeah, he want to preach also to you. Yeah, he want to contribute his wisdom, <laughs> dog's wisdom, doggy's wisdom. But he meant well, he meant well. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sit here and preach then, then I can take a rest. <laughs> Such a good heart you have. Yeah, he's telling things. Yes. Sometimes he's telling things, sometimes he asks for protection. That's why he makes a little noise. Can you do it quietly, like, you know, inside? Hmm? Okay, I just finished one job and now I start another. <laughs> it's like some poor people, you know, doing three jobs in one day. <laughs> A lot of jobs, not just three jobs, huh? Okay. <clears throat> we continue the story yesterday, huh? Mm. Yesterday, uh, okay, this uh, monk who was very afraid of the lady, lay disciple, who has already attained some higher spiritual level than he does, even though he's a monk and she is just a lay disciple. You know, normal people have family <laughs> and that. But of course, he has. She has earned marriage. You know, it's not that easy. But she has earned marriage. She built a house for the monks, for sixty monks, and then she feed them three months long. Yeah, yes, he does. He did. I love this guy. I don't know why. 
He doesn't look lovely. He look very serious, but I love him. <laughs> and then <laughs> he's trying to emphasize that what I said is true. And then he tell you also <laughs> to practice and do good stuff like that. Yeah, and then you can go to heaven. Yeah. He said we he will help. <laughs> yeah, if you practice. He will help to greet you at the Saint Peter's Gate. Yeah. It's a good heart, very good, good heart. Uh, so the lady, uh, she, she's too clairvoyant, you know. She saw through everything. She hear everything from afar. Every time the monk wish to eat something or do something, the lady immediately either order her servant to bring it or to do it. She saw this monk got very scared. I would be, wouldn't you? Oh. How come the monks know everything like this? How possible? Ah, the, the lady, yeah. So he was scared <laughs> because he knew that even though he's a monk, but his mind is not yet completely positive. No? Doesn't always think of holy thing or positive thing all the time. Sometimes it will slip into his mind some mundane desire. So he's very scared, you know, because he will feel very embarrassed if she knows what he's thinking. <laughs> so he ran back to his papa, <laughs> the Buddha. <laughs> papa, <laughs> this lady, <laughs> I cannot stay there anymore because this lady, she knows everything. She can read people, my thought. Whenever I think of something and want something, she bring immediately. So if I stay there, she will know. Sometimes if I think of bad thought, uh, you know, mundane thoughts, she will be very embarrassing. She will know. Yeah, therefore... He ran back to his papa. So, papa, what did papa say now? Mm. <laughs> so he, uh, the monk came back and told the Buddha why he has returned to uh, to the Buddha's residence because he's afraid the lady will will read his thought one day, bad thought. So the Buddha said, monk. That is a place you should not run away from. That is exactly the place you should go and stay. Yeah. So he said, No, Papa, I cannot. <laughs> like a boy. No, no, what honor one. I cannot, I cannot. Yeah. I will not reside there any longer. I stay here, I stay here. <laughs> like some of you. Okay, so the Buddha said, Well then. <laughs> Well then, monk, can you guard just one thing? Mm. <laughs> just one thing, yeah. So the monk said, what do you mean, well, honor one, guard just one thing? So the Buddha said to him, you guard your thought alone, just that, just do that, just do that. One thing, that is guarding your thought. Yeah, uh, for thoughts are very hard to guard. Yeah, you know that, okay? Yeah, Re guard your thoughts. <laughs> Restrain your thoughts alone. Yeah. Do not concern yourself with anything else, for thoughts are very unruly. Okay, so the Buddha tell him, make him a job, you know, offer him a job <laughs> to guard his thoughts. <laughs> nothing, not doing nothing else. So that's also a kind of practice. Meditation practice. Understand? Yeah. So saying, he pronounced the following stanza. We are going to the end now, near the end now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The mind is very hard to check, and swift is it falls on what it wants. The training of the mind is good, and mind so tamed brings happiness. So tame your mind, yeah. Don't care about anything. Just how you say, how you say, uh, check yourself first, yeah. Control yourself first, yeah. Before you control everybody else. Okay, okay. <clears throat> A mind so tame brings happiness. Have you experienced like that? That sometimes when you tame your mind, say no to what it wants, and you feel some happiness. Some kind of victorious? Yes? yes? yes. Okay. I also have some good experience. <laughs> today is cold, yeah? I felt cold today. And 
many days I didn't really eat properly. I mean, not like a good meal, you know, in a normal meal like the Vietnamese used to cook for me. I just eat some simple, you know, like rice congee and some fermented tofu, whatever, like that, you know, and some, and some salad and bread. And today, uh, the Vietnamese chef, she cooked something for me, yeah. And then the dogs eat some, and the, my two dogs keep her eat some, and uh, I also eat some. <laughs> and then, uh, then there's not much left, you know. So I was thinking, when I was sitting with you, na, I felt kind of hungry, <laughs> the cold and hungry. So I was thinking, oh, I'm going to call the Vietnamese cook to cook me some of my favorite soup. I was thinking like that, thinking. And then immediately I checked myself. I said, no, you had enough good, good things today. You just eat whatever left over there or nothing. <laughs> and then I did just that. And then I still am alive, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, so convenient just to call the Vietnamese cook and say, hey, I want some of this kind of soup, a special, whatever, special. Then, of course, feel happy too, you know. But why bother her, you know? I, because I'm busy also, you know. I thought if I come home, I don't have time to prepare and cook. But, but I do have time. <laughs> I just thinking like that, but I did have time. You see, so sometimes we want something, we have to check it whether it's truly necessary or not. Of course, she is very willing to cook for me, very happy, happy to cook for me, more than happy to cook. I know that. But it is a time to save for her to meditate, also better for her, you know? And time for me to, uh, I don't know, to control myself, <laughs> also good for me. Yeah? Yeah, it's very, very nice. So I felt kind of, yeah, very proud of myself indeed. <laughs> after, after I stopped myself from, you know, wanting the soup, I came home, just eat whatever, you know, some bread, some of the vegan mayonnaise, some leftover stuff, you know, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I gave him some of the cakes, yeah, <laughs> and some of the stuff. He's also happy, yeah. No need to special thing. Oh man, he always go here, huh? I didn't tell him. Oh my God. Mm. I love him so much. Huh? I love him so much. You do? Yes. Oh my God! He's my dog. <laughs> Stop. I love you more. Stop it! <laughs> yeah, you also love him, huh? He's lovable, huh? He's lovable, right? But he don't do nothing much, you see. It's not like all the dog come wagging tail. Yeah, yeah. And, well, like, you know? He don't do that. He just full of love quietly. And you look at him, you just want to love him. Oh, yeah. Amazing. No matter how late when I come home, I always, you know, caress him, talk to him first, and then, then we say good night. Yeah. He's so beautiful, I don't know. If all the humans are beautiful like this, I just stay in my cave forever. I don't have to go out. Don't need to consider India or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> what mean oh? Huh? Uh, right, I'm right. Of course, I'm right. I'm the master. <laughs> but I was thinking, India is not bad, huh? India for sure. No, nobody will bother us because they respect practitioners. Yeah, and once they know what are we doing, you know, like we practice light and sound, and then there's plenty like that in India anyway. So they will not do anything. And any police come, we just join for initiation, yes. and and the government come and just sit there and. <laughs> Listen to the Buddha, <laughs> Buddha stuff. It's, it's yeah, maybe that's a safe place. But I, the reason I didn't go to India is too easy. You see what I mean? I thought Europe needs me, Asia, China need me, Vietnam need me. That's why I went all over. You see, yeah. But now they know already, so I don't have to, right? Yeah, yeah. Europe is big already, right? Not a kid anymore. Mm. And in India, only Gujarat is uh, alcohol prohibited. Yeah, even, even. I know, I know. Yeah. <sighs> Why do you love him? Why? Why? I don't know. He looks through my soul and my heart yeah. beats so fast yeah. when he looks at me. Oh my God. One time he came you came in. You are in love. <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's a symptom. He wasn't, I didn't even see him, but I felt him coming. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> It's a symptom. No, he's very powerful, yeah, spiritually he powerful. 
He's an amazing being. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. He's he's the most wonderful being I know on this planet. <laughs> yeah. Huh? After you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> no, we are very friends. My God, I wish he lived long. Because if he goes, I probably will be very, very devastated. Yeah. He's so beautiful. Even, even I don't tell him, he just follow me everywhere, but quietly, not like clinging or not bothering. Huh? Yeah. And if I go home, he just go home. <laughs> He don't want to come back here. I say, you want to stay here? No, he blah, 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 go first. <laughs> He's afraid I, I let him stay here alone <laughs> with you, with you guys. Okay, so now we go back to India here. Mm. I'm in India every day since uh, I'm here, you know, since SMC already. We, I'm always in India because all this story from the Buddhas happened in India, yeah? Mm. It's funny, life after life, the Buddha was born in India until he became Buddha again. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> when the teacher had admonished, meaning the Buddha, the monk, thus, he dismissed him, saying, Go, go, <laughs> go, monk, go concern yourself with nothing else. Resume residence in that same place. And that monk, after being admonished by the Buddha, went to that same place and did not think thoughts Concerned with exterior things. You see, it's good. It's good that you humble yourself. Because if you know that person, know your thought, then then you check, no? You control yourself, no? Uh, every time you think of something, I say, no, 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 no. She knows it, she knows it. <laughs> Better behave myself. Then it's also a good excuse to practice, right? Yeah, very good. Hmm. And then... The great female lay disciple looked with divine vision and seeing the elder. See the, I mean the monk. They also call the monk elder, yeah, just by respect. Nah? Just like they call a uh, Sekamoni Buddha, I mean the elder, the enlightened saint or the elder saint. Yeah, okay? Uh, he look, she looked within her vision, in a vision, and seeing the elder, she determined by her own knowledge alone the following fact. My son has now gained a teacher, uh, you know, a master, who gives admonition and has returned once more. She knows that uh, the monk has gone back to the Buddha and the Buddha scolded him. <laughs> and now she, he came back. She knows it. She didn't see him, but she saw it inside, what happening. Mm. And at once she prepared wholesome food and gave it to him. Once having received wholesome food, in but a few days, the elder, I mean the monk, attained arahaship. Because he checked his thought. Yeah? There are two kinds of control you have to do. The uh, obvious thought, yeah, that's it running around all the time. And the another one is very subtle, subtle thoughts that you don't even know you have it. It's sometime in your subconscious that make you do things that later you realize is not what you wanted. Understand? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he attained arahaship as well after a few days with good food, of course, good food, <laughs> My Indian food. Maybe I should go there, then I will also attend Arhaship in no time. Just a few days, your wife cook me something, yeah? Your wife, your daughter cook me something, yeah? And then I will attend Buddhahood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, Oh. Food's good enough, right? 
The monk eats only once a day, you know. You have twice. There's uh, cookies in between. Huh? Cannot blame anything except yourself. Try to control your thought tomorrow, from today. Okay? Anytime you think something bad. <laughs> But the subtle, the subtle karma is difficult to control. The obvious is easy. Like if you want to see a woman, if you want to go and court a man, something like that, then you can see it. But sometimes, sometimes it's so deep inside. Eh? You don't even know you're thinking that. You're just doing that because have it. It's like many stories we, we, we told. People who have done such and such thing many lifetimes come back doing the same thing or similar thing. Huh? Okay? Even to the Buddha. Mm-hmm. All right. So the Buddha, how come he became Buddha? Because life after life, he's been doing just that, you know. No, he has become. He he was a Buddha a long time already, of course. But then, he came back to the mundane existence. But life after life, he done nothing but concentrate on holiness, Buddhahood, ne? sainthood. So that's why. He became Buddha because he does the same thing all the time, almost all the time, all the time, all the time, and repeatedly. And then he became Buddha, the master of that. After many lifetimes, do the good thing, then you're born doing good all the time. Same. So after the elder, I mean the monk, passed his days in the enjoyment of the bliss of the paths and the fruits, he thought to himself, the great female lay disciple has indeed been a support to me. By her assistance, mm, I have gained release from the round of existence, meaning because of her support and her help and her care, he attained liberation so quick, a few days. Mm. Had he not had the Buddha as a teacher, he would run away too easy you know, comfort zone, <laughs> where nobody know that he's uh, rotten inside or nobody know his thought, then he would probably take longer time to become Arahat. That's the reason why Anand has not become Arahat before everybody else. He was the last. He stayed too near the Buddha, every day doing Buddha stuff. Nobody dares call him, nobody think of even anything about him. Buddha also, of course, never scold him. Maybe even very little, no? because not much. He just go out and back in with the Buddha and come home and take care of him and everything. So there's no need to really to scold him. Besides, men are easy to take care, right? <laughs> if he took care of me, maybe I scold him a lot. Then maybe he became our heart quicker, right? But he served a man, you know? Man is easy. Yeah? Men and men are very easy. They understood each other so well. Especially, not much to do, you know? We just go out and beg for food or go with the Buddha and in the invitation eating and then come home, maybe have the Buddha to wash himself with some very little clothes, you know? And no need to, to uh, uh, white wash it, no need bleaching, no need special soap, nothing, you know? Because it's softened, brownish. Uh, clothes, it's easy to wash. Mm. So there's not much that the Buddha could scold him. Yeah? And besides, the, Bu- the Anand has been the Buddha's attendant many lifetimes, mm. or acquainted, or something like that. Besides, Buddha is a man, it's easier, you know? Yeah, maybe he has stress with disciple, but the more stress, the more the man feel good. You know that? Huh? Yesterday we talked about this hormone. That it's a stress produce? Huh? Testosterone. Testosterone, yeah. Whatever terone that makes a man feel good. The more terone, the more he feel like a tyrone. <laughs> yeah, he feel good. That's what it say, uh, you know, uh, scientifically saying. The more stress. That's why men uh, go out or in the field, go out, do all, do all kind of jobs in the field. You see, stressful, like political. Political job, for example, oh, that's very stressful. But they do it well, you know. If we women do such a political job, maybe we lose it. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays we have many women leaders, huh? Eh? 
Many, yeah, I'm so glad. Uh, but still, if 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 it's for men, it's better, you know. Mm. I mean, better for them, not for the country. <laughs> not necessarily good for the country. If women in this world became all presidents or prime ministers or leaders of any group, I think the world will have better chance for peace. Hmm? Hmm. Just my opinion. I am not offending you, huh? Male presidents, forgive me if I do. <laughs> All right then. Ah, so now, and he considered within himself that, like this: Has she been a support to me in my present state of existence only, or has she been a support to me in other lives as well? As I have passed from one state of existence to another in the round of existence. <laughs> Just say, as I pass from one lifetime to another, it's quicker, you know. And this man is very intellectually rich in words. So with with this thought in mind, he recalled a hundred, um, hundred states of existence, less one, with 99 lifetime, 99 lifetime, back, past life, he recalled. Um, now in a hundred states of existence, less one mean 99. I don't know why less one. Ah, I guess less one meaning less less than this present lifetime. This is 99. Yeah. So he saw that uh, this female lady disciple has been his wife. Ooh. And her affections had been set on other men in another lifetime. And she had caused him to be deprived of life, caused him to die. Mm. And when, therefore, the, the monk beheld the huge pile of demerit she, has, she had accumulated, so he thought to himself, Oh! What wicked deeds this female lady disciple had committed. At that time, he thought some negative thing. The great female lady disciple also sat in her house, considering within herself the following thought. Has my son reached the goal of the holy life? She was questioning herself. Perceiving that he had attained arahatship, she continued her reflections as follows. When my son attained arahatship, he thought to himself, this female lady disciple has indeed been a powerful support to me. Then he considered within himself, she's seen all this, no? she's seen his thought before. Then he considered within himself, has she been a support to me in previous states of existence also, or has she not? <laughs> she knows everything. Yeah. With this thought in mind, he recalled a hundred states of existence, less one. Now, in a hundred states of existence, less one, I conspired with other men and deprived him of life. She knew also now, past life, and what she did wrong to him. When, therefore, he beheld a huge pile of demerit, demerit, eh? not merit, bad karma. That she has accumulated, I thus accumulated. Then he thought to himself, she's, she's uh, describing what the, she saw in her vision. Eh? That's why she said, he thought to himself, Oh, what wicked deeds uh, this female lady disciple has committed. Is, not, is it not possible that as I have passed from one state of existence to another, in the round of existences, have I rendered assistance to him? She saw that the monk has been no, uh, seeing the past life and seeing her sins in the past life. And now she wonder whether or not in some of these hundreds life, hundred life, whether she has been doing something good as well, okay, to him. She wonder like that. Considering the matter further, she caught up before her mind her hundreds, 
state of existence and became aware of the following. Because uh, they recall only 99 existence, and now she recalled the hundreds, you know, not the 99s, <laughs> or the not the 99 before, but the hundreds of existence, and became aware of the following. In my hundredth state, I mean life, of existence, I was his wife. And on a certain occasion, also his wife again, you know, and on a certain occasion, when I might have deprived him of life, I spared his life. I have indeed rendered great assistance to my son, meaning ex-husband, and still remaining seated in her house, she said, discern further and consider the matter. She telling him, from afar, like remote control, or maybe by telefax. She, she said inside her, discern further and consider the matter. I mean, search more, search more. And then by the power of the divine ear, the monk immediately heard what she said. So she, he do research further into, uh, further into the past existence, and then he called upon his mind, his hundredth state of existence, just like her, and perceived that in that state of existence she had spared, spared his life, just like now. Mm -hmm. Filled with joy, then he thought to himself, this female lay disciple has indeed rendered great assistance to me. Then and there, reciting the questions relating to the four paths and the fruits, he attained the remainderless element of nirvana. Oh, wow. So cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. The story ends here. Mm. Thank you, Buddha and Anand. And all the girl, all the people that has uh, helped us to have this story today. Mm. It's kind of short today, but I've been working all day, so please understand, huh? <sighs> Last night, I'm sorry, I had to quit. I don't know why I feel very tired. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel very, very tired. No one I keep telling me, go home, go home. <laughs> and not because I listen to him, but at the end, I feel really, I must go. Yeah. Anybody want to say anything? Ask anything? Today is okay. I'm not too tired. Any question? When you say uh, the subconscious thought, mm. how can we control them if we don't know them? Not really. Just meditate more, and then you realize it inside, okay. or you you check out your action. Okay. Mm. Because sometimes you do something wrong, but you don't know why you do it, and that mm -hmm. is the subconscious playing hell. Oh, okay. sorry. Blame something. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's not your master speaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you realize you do something wrong without intention, then you must know it is the subconscious. You know the karma, deep layer, alaya, the alaya. Anybody else? Uh, residue of sick. Residue, yeah, residues. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, here. What's that? I have a friend, I mean, a disciple. Mm. He, she had been initiated uh, like 10 years back. Mm. But now she's still uh, suffering, like when she starts to meditate, she can't just meditate for a long time. Mm -hmm. She had like pulling her inside, mm. she had a headache. Ooh. So he just. What kind of guru did she follow before? She followed you. No, I mean, before, before that, does she, she worship know. any statues or any local gods or anything like no, that? No, I don't ask her. Where is she? She's in Singapore. Oh, why didn't she come here? She wanted, she she had the leave for the first event. Oh. But after that, when it's cancelled, so they can't come mm -hmm. back. Okay, I understand. Mm. Oh, I don't know if she's doing the correct thing, you know. Mm. If she come back next time, or if she is eating anything bad, or no, she's following your path mostly. <laughs> so I don't really understand. 
Also, she go for a checkup medical, so the doctor just uh, said to her that she didn't have anything. Just give him a tablet for sleeping. Oh, sleeping tablet? Yeah. Oh. So sometimes she takes, sometimes she just yeah. continue to meditate. But mm. still now she suffer. Sometimes when she talk to me, the hair just move. The mm -hmm. ear also move like this. Mm -hmm. Crumble, crumble. I understand, I understand. Wow. I will um, see to that and I'll talk to you later, you another must, time, eh? okay? Maybe tomorrow. Hmm? I have to check, okay? Hmm. Anybody else want to say something, talk something, ask something? No? Somebody? No? Yes, no? You? Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, uh, in the first night, you mm. talk about uh, everything under the, uh, about the illusion. Illusion, uh, uh, Yeah. Is karma also part of the illusion? Yeah. Or oh, karma and enlightenment is also part of illusion? Enlightenment, not. No. Karma, yes. Enlightenment is the inborn nature. Hmm? Karma, it just uh, depends on where you live, what you do, whom you're with. Huh? What do you think? Okay. So everything under the shadow world is illusion, including karma and including the fifth world. It's called a shadow world. Mm. Shadow. Mm. But it's uh, more heavy on the lower here, you know, more suffering. On the higher world, because it's nearer to the sixth level or the much nearer to the real world, so it's lighter. Yeah, I explained that also more or less in Hungarian retreat mm -hmm. tips. Okay. Mm. Thank you. The karma, mostly karma, is illusion. All appearance here are all illusion. That's why the the master can switch it off, can burn it. You know, like television. When we sit at home, you watch <laughs> some theater. Yeah, it's not a real person. Yeah, mm. and it's not, and whatever happened there, uh, it's not really what happened there. <laughs> it's a copy, it's a transmission of something that happened somewhere else. You understand that? Mm. Like the real movies, uh, actors, I mean, real acting is in the studio or is in another land. Mm. The theater is somewhere else, and you stay home, watch TV, look exactly like there. But if you turn it off, nothing, because it's not real. You turn your computer off, it's off. You can turn television off, it's off. You see what I mean? Yeah. But you cannot turn off me, because I'm real. <laughs> that is the thing, yeah? You cannot turn off the actors, because they're real. So, hmm? so but you can turn off their acting. What? So where's actually the the our the actor the our true self? Your soul, your soul. Mm. Okay. Okay. Your soul. Mm. And your soul is a is a spark of God, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just because it's um, I told you already in the in the retreat in Hungary. You know there are different layers. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And here is a heavy layer, yeah. Mm. But the soul, the soul is not exactly had to be here. Can be in a higher world as well. Uh, and if you keep going up, then you go back there, and the lighter part of the universe, where you don't have to suffer a lot. You don't have to suffer anymore. Okay. In any country, there are different province. You know. Some province, like in the capital, you have everything you want, convenient and everything. But in some rural area, some people difficult to get even a rolls of toilet paper or some some fancy fruits or some something that they even never heard of. You understand? Mm. Yes. Mm. So in the shadow universe is like that also. In some part of the universe, a lighter, in upper level. If we go there, if we return there, we will feel better. 
Yeah. We feel more self. Yeah. So we be stripped of all of the this uh, illusionary, more illusionary than than that, or the 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 clothes, you know, or the cover. And then you be shine in your real self again. Okay. Real self over there, more not real self in there. You're also part of the uh, the real universe. It's just different. Even if you are in shadow universe, it's better be in a in a better, you know, in a better position. If you're in the palace, you uh, if you are in a royal family, it's better. Then you are just a guard in the in the palace or the secretary in the palace. Understand? Yes. Okay. Thank mm. you. Uh, it's very difficult to explain this abstract thing. I all I all I all I only know it, but it's very difficult even for me to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> he knows it, right? You know it, right? You have a lover here, my God. She's going to be heartbroken when she leaves. Mm. You can't take him. Sorry. <laughs> I know you love him because I do, but can't. He's the only one. Yeah. You won't find another one here on the planet. No. You're tired, huh? Hmm? No, it's just too much blessing. His eye keep, you know. <laughs> he wants to close, but he don't want to close. <laughs> His eye, you know, he wants to close heavy, but he don't want to close. He wants to shake your hand. Huh? Did you shake your hand? Yeah. Oh, well. You, why you like him? Your lover is behind you. <laughs> Such a beautiful boy. Yeah, I just huh? Maybe he can remind you like the woman. What love? Maybe he he can read the mind too. Yeah, like he can. The light, the lady. He can. Yesterday, um, uh, the first time I I saw him, uh, can I he feel speak like this so people can translate. Okay. Yesterday, when uh, the first time I saw him, I feel like to touch him, mm. but. He never, never uh, look me or anything. Mm-hmm. Just by the way, cool. So cool. You feel cool. Yeah, oh, I feel cool. cool. And then, and then today, uh, so surprised. Mm-hmm. He give. He came and and shake your hand. Yeah. Your hand. Oh, give Paul. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your dream come true. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> It takes some time to to, <laughs> to have effect, you know. <laughs> yeah, not like we're not easy, right? You can't just second anybody. Let her wish for a while, right? <laughs> Let her earn it, right? <laughs> oh man, I can't imagine anybody who doesn't see such a precious dog like this, no? And even don't accept him, did not accept him. Yeah, but he was a very difficult dog. Mm. When he first came, it was so difficult. Just want to stay outside. Even rain, shy, hot. Oh, God. Oh, all his eyes are heavy. <laughs> Couldn't close. Close it, baby. Close and take a rest. Mm-hmm. Drop, drop, sleep, sleep, good. <laughs> okay. He's meditating, you know. He meditates a lot also. Yeah. Okay. So we go home now. If nobody wants, sao đợi hỏi hoài hỏi lâu quá mới chịu hỏi. Con sợ sư phụ. Mà con có cái um, cái này con hỏi sư phụ á. Sao con ngồi thiền ánh sáng á sư phụ? Cái tự nhiên tay của con nó cứ đập xuống dưới cái nền nhà, nó sưng luôn á sư phụ. Ôi vậy à? Dạ. Đâu thấy sưng gì đâu? Không mấy 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 một tháng trưa. À, có một, một có mấy lần thôi hả? Một lần thôi sư phụ. Một lần thôi gì đâu mà lai. Nó nó sưng dữ lắm nó sư phụ. Ừ, dạ? Mà con con rồi nó làm giống như những cái hành động à, lạ à. lắm nó sư phụ. À, hiểu rồi hiểu rồi. Dạ. Ừ. Con không biết tại sao rồi con nói chứ không con phải con chỉ có cái sư phụ thanh hải phụ tương sư thôi à. đừng có thấy ừ. con nữa. Rồi sao? Rồi hồi lâu rồi. Nó bớt. bớt. Ok. Cây sao thì lấy cái cái nệm đỡ ở dưới đó. Ừ. <cười> Cô đánh thì đánh cái nệm. Yeah. À, mấy cái lực lượng phố định bên trong nó vật cơ mà, cho nó ra đi là ok rồi. Ừ. Yeah. 
Ừ. Do mặt biết liền hỏi gì? Ừ. <cười> ráng tu thêm, cô. ok không? Dạ. Ăn uống cho kỹ, nha. Ừ. Cái niềm cái nào mà nó nghi ngờ đừng có ăn nha, ok? Dạ. Ừ. Đúng, đúng. Yeah. Anything more? Oh just, yeah. Yeah. All right. We just want to say goodbye and thank tomorrow? you very much. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow morning. Everybody live? No, just Indonesian. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ừ? Việt Nam cũng đi hả? Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh. 18 people. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm sorry. So, so what now? Thank you very much for everything. <laughs> You're, I, welcome. You're welcome. I think uh, you have given us everything. We feel so happy. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, we feel... Uh, so happy so contented and satisfied this time thank you very much and uh, wish master all the best and see you you're welcome. next time no, you're welcome yeah you're very welcome mm. and uh, just now we try to cook something for master the indonesian uh, cake yeah i hope you enjoy it where uh in, the, in here in the kitchen yeah. we we cook some cake you and, cook oh i want to see it now <laughs> Actually, today I, I wanted to ask her whether we still have some Indonesian cake for me, but I forgot about it. I want to ask and I forgot about it because I went about working and one thing, one work lead to another and I forgot to ask her. Today I feel like wanting to eat some Indonesian cake. So maybe you have read my mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask yeah. today. Sometime earlier, but I had no time. Where's the cake? <laughs> you also cook gado gado. Gado gado? Yeah, your favorite one. What is that? <laughs> gado gado is like an Indonesian salad with some uh, nuts. Sa salad? Yeah, nut sauce. Nut? How you know it's my favorite? I think in the video before you, you mentioned. Some oh. <laughs> Did I say that? The name is gado gado. Huh? I say gado gado. <laughs> oh, everybody will be jealous. My God. Good love. See what I got there. Oh. Oh. Oh, if I knew that, I didn't wouldn't have eaten my Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is all we have? More? Can you please bring it so everybody can have? Yeah. We start from here first. Huh? Can somebody bring him water and a, a, a empty bowl so he can try some of this? You want to try some Indonesian? Gado gado. <laughs> gado gado. This is gado gado. Yeah. Huh? Kwe wachi. Oh man, this is my favorite. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Eat by hand, right? You have a, a fork? Yeah. So I can share some with some of your brother, sister. And whatever, bring it all here. Wow, we eat all the time now. <laughs> you want some of this sweetness? Mm, try first. You, I don't think you like gado gado because it's salad. Oh, I remember in, in Indonesia they cook something with the... They cook something with the, uh, the water spinach. No, no, you know what a spinach? Yeah, kangkung. And then, and they cook, they cook it almost like saute or soup. I don't remember, but it was delicious. Yeah. Pachang. Hmm. Maybe pachang. Pachang. Ah, maybe pachang. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Bring the rest, no, for everybody. Where? Where's the? No, the rest of the cake. And then this one you eat with the sauce? Yeah. Uh -huh. You made it all yourself today? Wow. Mm. How did how did you make it today? You have have uh, ingredients here? Yeah. One of the sisters trying to find the ingredients all over. <laughs> Outside? Yeah. Wow, that's very nice I, of you. I hope the, the taste will be similar yeah. like before. Mm. <laughs> no wonder I was thinking eating 
Indonesian uh, sweet cake stuff, you know? I was thinking like that today very strongly, but I was too busy, busy, busy. And come up and down, in and out, you know? I have no chance to, to ask. Yeah. Oh, very good. You read my mind. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe out of heart already. No, no. For everybody, my love. Everybody. Did he eat the no, sweet? No, no. He didn't want Maybe mm. they don't touch the fork, okay? It's public. Don't touch the fork, fork. Yep. Give everybody any more left or just that? No? No more. Then you have to cut it half, half. <laughs> Break it into half. Share if the hands are clean or not. Mm. You eat already too bad. So say half with the sister, okay? Yeah. Half half. Yeah? Half only, yeah? Half half. Maybe not enough even half. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Anybody? <sighs> you too. <laughs> Share. Huh? Cameraman also, yeah? Translator also, yeah? <sighs> My God, what's the use of eating so little like this? <laughs> Might as well eat nothing. <coughs> this for the cameraman. Still have? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, then give to some of the people behind there. And the cameraman, if not enough, then uh, come back here. Here, Yuan. You have? Uh, you have? Eat your food. Did you put salt? The salt is not very salty here. Oh no? Indonesia is salty. Then put a little bit more salt. <laughs> the ingredients may be a bit different. different. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, are the ingredients. <laughs> bad. <laughs> bad ingredient, you. Bad salt. <laughs> bad fog. Even, even the color also different. Mm. The color is more brown. Mm. Bad color. <laughs> <laughs> you have everything, Robert? Mm. Okay, the Indonesian also have? Yeah. yeah. Did you feel different or am I no, wrong? Yeah, it's, it's a bit different. Mm. Mm. It's a bit different. Mm. Palm, palm sugar is different. Yeah. This is palm sugar they use? In Indonesia, you use palm sugar? Yeah. Coconut, coconut sugar. Coconut sugar. Hmm? Coconut coconut sugar. sugar. Here, you coconut sugar? Yeah. Yes. Different. different. Mm hmm. So, everything but bad sugar. <laughs> mm. Why not palm sugar? <laughs> yeah, I scold him already. <laughs> You feel happier now? <laughs> yeah, it's all your fault. No, I try one more and everybody up for grab. No? The little, the Westerner and the Indian. It look like Hawa, you know? Right? Uh -huh. yeah. Go ahead and share. Don't care, Big Nama. And the older people behind there, they, they don't have it in Italy. Huh? Yeah, blame everything. <laughs> Huh? Good? Yeah, of course you know nothing. <laughs> they are Westerners, say very, very good. Only I am a bad one. I'm picky, picky. Hmm? Oh, I miss Hawa, you know, vegan, huh? When I was in India, because they have a big congregation all the time. So they give you on a piece of newspaper. But it still tastes like heaven. The Philippines, they also cook very nice, similar stuff, but the kind of uh, purple color, I don't know what they cook, beautiful. Mm. The problem also because I ate already also, yeah?
But they say, they say very good. They don't know anything better. You know? <laughs> never been in you know, Indonesia, never ate the native, real. Native food. Yeah, the real Indonesian food. That's why the first time they brought here all the way from, from Indonesia, real thing. They so good, huh? Mm. You cook in the afternoon, right? Oh, yeah, that's when I wanted to ask the Vietnamese cook whether she still have some, you know, of the festival for me. Look like uh, you know my thought, or I know your thought, I don't know who knows. Not me. The credit is the, the sisters. Oh. Yeah, I mean you people. Suddenly I sit there and crave for Indonesian sweet. Yeah, next time you cook those, uh, you know, whatever you call that. Thang. Wanti. 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 Yeah, Wanti. Wanti. Next time. I like that. I don't know the family kind of cooking. I don't have that. I didn't have it for a long time. And then after that, you can give me kwadu kwadu. Kwadu kwadu. Wow. It's a whole meal here. Mm. Mm. Can I save it and eat later? Yeah. I mean tomorrow? Mm. Because if I eat now, I might not enjoy it. It's a, it's a waste, you know? Mm. Mm. <laughs> because they cook for me, so I want to eat it. Otherwise, I give it to you, you know? I will eat it so that I feel happy. Understand? Mm. Okay, I will eat it for sure, all by myself. And this guy can draw tonight <laughs> in the dream. Just salad and peanut butter, peanut uh, sauce. Yeah. But it will be nice when I'm ready. Mm. No eat? You no. don't eat the sweet? No. Oh. Today, today he ate some already of these... Um, Mooncake, you know? Mm -hmm. Drink the water. Huh? If you don't want anything else, then I go, huh? Cô Trung muốn nói gì không? Muốn nói không? Không muốn thì thôi. Muốn hả? Rồi. Microphone. Wow, my God! If we have keep having this kind of gathering, I I think I, I will have new clothes. <laughs> I feel already, you know. I I slim down a couple of days when I don't eat the Vietnamese food and I don't eat with you, and then boom, Moon Festival came. <laughs> and everything changed. À, muốn kính, nói gì cơ? Kính thưa sư phụ, à, kính thưa quý vị đồng tu có mặt hôm nay. À, được sự đồng ý của sư phụ, à, tôi là người của gia đình à, sẽ xin kể cho quý vị à, một vài câu chuyện mà khi thời thơ ấu của sư phụ mà được nghe qua ba mẹ kể. Chứ à, lúc đó thì bản thân tôi cũng còn có lúc chưa sinh ra và cũng có có, có lúc còn bé lắm. Oh, à. Bà kể hết hả? Dạ Bà má kể hết hả? Dạ nghe ba mẹ kể à, vâng. à, Có thể lần lượt từng my câu sister. chuyện một Dạ My younger sister The tallest and the um, more beautiful <cười> In the family <cười> Và tôi sẽ bắt đầu câu chuyện mà lúc mà Sư phụ khoảng 2 tuổi À, lúc đó gia đình tôi thì um, trong cái thời buổi chiến tranh cái những cái thời đó là thuộc về uh, chế độ pháp thuộc á cho nên là chiến tranh thì gia đình phải uh, di tản lên núi để ở núi giống như vậy nè nhưng mà sản xuất được trồng cây cỏ và rau củ nhiều và lúc đó sư phụ được 2 tuổi nghe kể như vậy đó wow. và câu I chuyện này và câu chuyện này thì tôi nghe ba mẹ tôi kể đi kể lại nhiều lắm Ooh. mà oh, rất no. là ngạc nhiên vì lúc bây giờ sư phụ 2 tuổi thì mẹ tôi và chị tôi thì cứ mỗi một buổi tối như vậy là khoảng 1 giờ sáng á. Cái gì tốt mà kể nha cưng, đừng có kể sao nữa. 1 giờ sáng thì bắt đầu gánh rau củ quả từ trên núi đi xuống đồng bằng bán. 
vì ban ngày là chiến tranh không dám đi à, cho nên là cứ một hai giờ sáng là gánh gánh chở đi wow. và đi thì trong quá trình đi có cầm theo một cái mỏ để gõ à, mỏ bằng làm bằng tre giống như của mấy ông thầy chùa gõ đó à, gõ cốc 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 như vậy okay, để okay. cho do you have translation <cười> cái gì hay mới kể <cười> I don't know anything about two years old. I don't know. Mother tell you? She never told me. Maybe some, but maybe I'm not sure what you are going to say now. Không biết bà phải nói gì đây đây. Everybody has already? Yes or no? Yes. Có nói chưa? Translate chưa? Xong chưa? <laughs> Testing? It's all good? All right. Rồi cứ nói đi để nó mất hứng. Kính thưa sư phụ. À, kính thưa quý vị đồng tu, tôi sẽ kể lại câu chuyện bắt đầu như thế này Và thì lúc mà đó thì chiến tranh thì mẹ tôi và chị tôi đi bán những cái rau củ quả trồng ở trong vườn, ở trong cái núi đó Cứ 1-2 giờ sáng á, tức là nửa đêm á, thì gánh nhau đi xuống dưới bán Thì lúc nào cũng mang theo một cái mỏ bằng tre để gõ cho những cái con vật ở trong núi nó không có nó sợ nó chạy Ví dụ như con cọp, con beo, con heo gì đó ở Trong lúc bây giờ cột beo nhiều lắm cho nên đi phải có cái mỏ tre để gõ mà ngay cả cái câu chuyện này chị tôi chắc cũng không nghe được đâu Bây nghe. giờ mới nghe Chưa biết Dạ vâng Thì mẹ tôi cứ kể đi kể lại cái câu chuyện nó hoài Gánh đi thì One second Everybody bán mua. here well? Translation ok? Fan in tao sợ ok mà yeah. Bán mua xong cái buổi chợ chợ đêm á Thường là hộp chợ đêm chứ không đi chợ chợ ban ngày đâu ừ. Chợ đêm chứ ban ngày là rất nguy hiểm Súng đạn bắn dữ lắm Bom bom. À, bom nó dội Bom pháp lúc đó là người ta đánh nhau dữ lắm thì chị tôi và mẹ tôi bán xong thì đi về Về trên cái đoạn đường về tới gần nhà Thì mỏ vẫn cứ gõ chóc 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 như thế Gõ hoài Mà chị tôi thì mới có 2 tuổi mà nằm Chị ở... này chứ chị kia đâu à, chị, 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 chị này Chị này mới nằm ở trong nhà mới nghe tiếng mỏ đó Mới nghe mẹ về mừng lắm Mới bò ra Bò ra mà mới 2 tuổi đã biết đi gì nhiều đâu Mới chập chững thôi Bò qua một cái cây cầu bằng tre một cầu bằng tre một cây chiếc tre như thế này bằng cỡ tay mình đó mà bò qua vì trước nhà tôi có một cái con suối con suối nhỏ sông cái cây suối con suối, suối hả đó. dạ à. ở trên uh, thanh lâm lộ bàn á à, à. đập ăn thọ à, okay. thì có một cái cây suối bắc ngang trước nhà đó thì mới đi vô nhà được mà cái cây tre cỡ, cỡ bằng tay mình nè thì lúc đó sư phụ bò qua bò từ đầu bên trong nhà mà bò mãi ra tới ngoài để đón mẹ và chị về thì cha tôi ở trong nhà không biết hết Chừng chạy ra tìm thì không thấy con đâu hết Thì mới giật mình thì mẹ tôi mới lên Ồ nó đây rồi, nó ra tới đây rồi ông ơi Trời lúc đó cả nhà quảng hồn lên Thì mới thấy là Vì sao là ai nghe cũng nổi da gà hết Không biết tại sao mà nó bò qua được cái cầu đó Ba mẹ tôi cứ nói thế Và kể mãi về sau câu chuyện đó Khi tôi lớn lên mà ngọt nghe kể hoài Mà tôi cũng cảm thấy rất là khủng khiếp không, khi... không biết tại sao mà hai tuổi mà bò qua được các cây cầu như vậy đó quý vị thấy khủng khiếp chưa rất là giỏi mà rất là đó là cái lòng dũng cảm đó dũng cảm dũng cảm tôi nghĩ là lòng dũng cảm. dũng cảm mới có hai tuổi thôi mà dũng cảm mà bò ban đêm mà nghe tiếng mẹ về mừng quá mà bò ra đi tìm thì cho hôm qua là tự vì hôm cách đây hai ba ngày tôi nghe các sư phụ kể một câu chuyện là ở ấn độ sư phụ nhảy xuống cái dòng sông đó tới ba lần à. À sông lạnh à, ừ. sông lạnh tới ba lần mà không ai mà dám nhảy xuống chỉ khoác lên mặt để rửa mặt ừ. rửa tay thôi mà sư phụ nhảy xuống ba lần được thì cái cầu đó băng qua chuyện nhỏ <cười> quý vị hiểu không cho nên tôi liên tưởng tôi nhớ lại cái hai tuổi mà bò qua cây cầu wow. mà cha mẹ tôi nhắc hoài cái câu chuyện đó Thank you. mãi đến khi tôi lớn lên mà cha mẹ tôi vẫn cứ nhắc à, thành sẵn đó tôi nhắc cho quý vị nghe kể cho quý vị nghe câu chuyện là dũng cảm như thế nào Thank you. từ bé đã dũng cảm rồi không phải đâu cưng nó yeah. nhỏ nó không có biết đó hồi bà nhỏ bà không có hiểu gì hết thì bà mới bò qua bây giờ bà lớn bắt bà bò bà không dám đâu dạ không <cười> bây giờ lớn là biểu nhảy xong mà nhảy liền đó. <cười> dạ đó là một câu chuyện à, và câu chuyện thứ hai tôi kể tiếp cho quý vị mà tôi nghĩ cái câu chuyện này quý vị cũng chắc cũng đã từng nghe sư phụ nhắc rồi ừ. nhưng mà tôi chính là người nghe nhiều nhất và được truyền đi truyền lại nhiều À, câu chuyện như thế này Lúc bây giờ là sư phụ đã được 10 tuổi rồi à, Tôi vừa mới sinh ra đời Mẹ tôi sinh tôi ở nhà Và lúc đó bố của tôi thì đang bị ở tù ừ, Bây giờ em mấy tuổi rồi? Dạ bây giờ em 57 57 Thì thì lúc đó chị mới 8 hay 9 tuổi thôi Dạ 10 tuổi Chưa đó 10 đâu. 10 Dạ còn 9-10 tuổi rồi đó 9-10 tuổi rồi đó Dạ 
thì bố tôi đang ở tù và mẹ tôi sinh tôi ra mà trong cái cơn hoạn nạn lắm mà mẹ tôi bị một cái cơn bệnh mà không ai chữa được hết mà chị tôi đã biết rằng cha tôi có thể chữa được bệnh đó cho mẹ tôi cho nên mẹ tôi mới nói thôi bây giờ nhà đơn chiếc quá không có nhờ ai được hàng xóm láng giềng thôi thì con con làm sao mà con đi được ra tới cái chỗ mà mà ba đang ở tù đó con xin phép cho ba về đây chữa được bệnh cho mẹ thì mẹ mới sống còn nếu ba không về được thì mẹ chết thôi đường xa đường sinh xa. tôi được mới có mấy ngày à mấy ngày. mẹ tôi bị sản hậu đó bệnh sản hậu đó người ta kêu là giống như là sinh ra mà nó cứ nó cứ ra máu hay sao đó đại khái này không thể cầm được mà mẹ tôi không thì lúc đó đi... thuốc mang rất à, là thiếu thốn dạ không, à. không nằm một chỗ đó thôi thì chị tôi mới nói rằng là sư phụ quý vị mới nói rằng là thôi thì để con đi một một chuyến xem sao con cố gắng thì chín tuổi thì nhỏ quá quý vị biết rồi đường xá xa xôi mà lại lúc đó chiến tranh này thời buổi rất là là lạc hậu cho không văn minh như bây giờ không có gì mình phương tiện gì hết xe cũ không biết là đi như thế nào mà sư phụ tôi đi ra được tới cái chỗ mà cha tôi ở tù và chị tôi mới vô được trong cái chỗ nhà tù đó xin cho gặp được cái ông quản 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 tù cai ngục đó viên cai ngục mới mới nói hỏi chị tôi chứ cô là con làm gì đây thì chị tôi mới nói là à, bây giờ thưa với ông rằng là, là mẹ phụ. tôi xin em tôi ra mà mẹ tôi bị bệnh nặng quá không thể nào chữa được mà chỉ có cha tôi mới chữa được cái bệnh đó cho mẹ tôi thôi thì không biết sư phụ lúc bây giờ nói như thế nào đó mẹ tôi không có biết được và ông đó rất là cảm động vì thấy cái cô bé này rất là nhỏ nhắn dễ thương tại vì à. tại vì sư phụ khóc nữa dạ à, vừa à. khóc vừa nói vừa khóc vừa nói rất là là, ở là ngoài đợi dạ. cả buổi chiều á dạ đợi nguyên cả ngày đó sư phụ nhớ đó à. nhớ bây giờ nhớ chút chút thì à. sư phụ ngồi khóc lóc với ông cai ngục đó dữ lắm đợi nguyên cả buổi chiều thì ông mới cảm thấy là một người con gái nhỏ nhắn như thế này dễ thương như thế này mà ăn nói rất là diễn cảm mà nó rất là, là là tình cảm tội nghiệp lắm cho nên ông mới suy nghĩ đi nghĩ lại xong nó thôi được rồi ông sẽ cho bố của sư phụ về để chữa bệnh cho mẹ thì lúc bây giờ là cha về nhà trước khi về thì ông ông viên cai ngục đó có dặn dò với sư phụ rằng là khi mà ông về ông biết vì sao mà tôi cho ông về không tại vì tôi cảm động con gái của ông đó ờ, ờ, tôi cảm động con gái của ông đó, ăn nói rất là dễ thương mà tình cảm cho nên là tôi cho ông về để em chữa bệnh cho vợ ông nhưng mà khi về ông phải nhớ cho tôi một điều khi mà đặt tên con gái mà đang nằm ở nhà đó thì ông phải nhớ lấy tên tôi đặt để kỷ niệm. Ồ, ông nói vậy dạ. chứ không phải mình tự động hả? Dạ không, ông Ồ. nói vậy đó, ông dặn là dặn mà cha mẹ kể cho em hoài cái câu chuyện này cho nên em thắc mắc lắm tại sao mà cái tên của em là Quang Trung giống như con trai. À thì the boy's name, her name is the boy's name. Thì cha mới nói rằng là cái lý do đó mà cha mới đặt tên con như vậy chứ không phải là tự nhiên mà đặt đâu. Trước khi về ông có nói rằng là thứ nhất là tôi cảm động con gái của ông rất là là, là thông minh à, dễ thương cho nên là tôi cho ông về đó cái thứ hai là khi về nhà thì ông phải đặt tên con gái ông là tên tôi để kỷ niệm thì tôi mới cho ông về à, thì cha mới nói rằng ok tôi đồng đồng ý đó, thành ra là các quý vị thấy ông nhỏ như vậy đó mà không biết làm sao mà đi băng từ nhà mà đi ra tới ngay chỗ cha ở tù mà đi xin cho mẹ về đi xe thì cái đó thì xe đúng rồi xe nhưng mà nhỏ quá ai dám đi lúc bây giờ mà ai dám vô trong tù mà đi xin như vậy không Yeah. đủ can đảm không? Mà sư phụ bé như vậy mà đi được ra tới cái chỗ đó mà gặp viên cây ngục mà xin để cho cha về. Ông chị nhớ là hồi đó ngồi ở ngoài nó bắt ngồi đợi ngoài à? Tại vì người tù phải đi ra đâu đó đi làm việc đó đâu có ở nhà đâu. Dạ. Yeah. À, rồi muốn gặp ông cây ngục ông cũng ông cũng đâu ra ông gặp mình liền. Cái, yeah. cái ông trưởng tù đó. Dạ. Yeah. À, còn cái người cây ngục đứng ở bên ngoài đó là gác người gác cửa thôi. Dạ. Yeah. Họ không cho mình vô. Dạ. Yeah. Và cứ ừ. ngồi đó. Dạ, yeah. ngồi đó hoài rồi ngồi lâu quá sợ mẹ chết á, khóc. Yeah. khóc Sợ mẹ chết ở nhà đâu có ai nuôi em đâu, em mới còn nhỏ phải cho nó bú này kia Đâu à. có cho bú đâu, hồi nhỏ mẹ để em ra không cho bú Không có ai cho bú, yeah. không có nhà ai Đúng đó rồi. Sợ chết mẹ chết em luôn, có ai không biết ai lo không thành khóc yeah. Khóc rồi cái mấy cái người mà người coi cửa đó họ mới thấy tội nghiệp đó yeah. Thấy ngồi hoài cả ngày mà ngồi khóc á rồi ông mới đi vô ông kiếm ông kia ông năng ông nói cho vô nói chuyện à, yeah. rồi trước khi chị về nhớ có ông cái ông trưởng trụ tù ông có nói là thôi bây giờ cô phải ở con phải ở lại đây để cầm chân thôi tôi mới cho cha con về à, ông 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 chọc gì à, ông chọc đó ông chọc đó à, ừ. ông vừa ôm ôm mình ông vừa chọc vậy yeah. rồi cái sư phụ mới nói dạ thưa thôi không không ông nói tại sao không nói, tại vì ở nhà phải chăm sóc cho mẹ chứ 
À, ông cho cha tôi về có hai có một hai bữa rồi đi rồi ai chăm sóc cho mẹ cho em thành ra ông nói à thôi vậy nói cũng có lý <cười> ông mới cho đi yeah. ông ông nói giỡn vậy thôi mà yeah. ông rất là tự thế yeah. rất là tự thế ừ. yeah, vâng đó câu chuyện là như vậy thì à, vậy em thấy... nhớ nhiều quá hả yeah. wow. thì ở chung với ba mẹ cho nên ba mẹ hay kể tới kể lui hoài mà à. chị thì đi học xa à. cho nên là nhiều khi ngồi nhớ nhau á thì cứ kể những kỷ niệm đó wow. ý là cha với mẹ rất là là tề, tề, ca tụng có vấn đề đó mà ông ba chẳng nói gì với chị hết dạ yeah. ông bà cứ kể với em nghe kể tới kể lui yeah, kể tới kể lui nghe hoài thành thuộc but they và never cứ... told me yeah. anything và I think câu... I know it already yeah. và câu chuyện thứ ba mà tôi muốn kể tiếp cho quý vị nghe cũng về sư phụ của quý vị nữa còn nữa dạ yeah. wow. à, cái câu chuyện này thì khoảng uh, lúc bây giờ sư phụ khoảng 13 13 tuổi đó dạ mm. yeah, ba tuổi bây giờ câu à. chuyện này là mm. uh, sư phụ bây giờ là lúc bây giờ là khoảng 13 14 vậy đó à, lớn rồi lớn rồi thì à. lúc đó tôi cũng đã sinh ra đời khoảng 3 tuổi 4 tuổi rồi đó tôi cũng đã biết sơ rồi mm. thì uh, cha tôi uh, bị mắc một cái cơn bạo bệnh nghĩa là người ta cái, cái tên gọi lúc bây giờ là chảy máu cam đó mm. mà bệnh viện thá pháp lúc bây giờ thuốc men cũng thiếu lắm mà, uh, uh, chảy máu mũi hoài uh, chảy chảy liên tục chảy không ngừng chảy giờ nọ sang giờ kia chảy chảy miết chảy lòng vòng chảy liên tục chảy không ngừng thì chị tôi và mẹ tôi mới đưa cha của tôi đi ra bệnh viện lớn để mà chữa bệnh và bệnh tôi có nghe xa, xa. xa lắm yeah. mà tôi ở nhà một mình cứ thế mà sống với bà nội thôi ừ. rồi cái rồi chị tôi mới bắt đầu một cứ nghe kể là mỗi buổi chiều như vậy á là sau khi mà chị tôi đã dọn dẹp trong cái bệnh viện đó này đổ bô này làm những cái việc dùm cho những cái bệnh nhân mà mà nhà không có người giúp á Sư phụ đổ bô kia bô nọ giúp đỡ họ giặt vũ mọi chuyện trong bệnh viện đâu đó xong rồi Thì cứ mỗi buổi chiều như vậy á Là chị tôi lên cái đài phát thanh của cái bệnh viện đó hát À hát cho các cái bác sĩ trong bệnh viện nghe Mà mấy ông bác sĩ này mê dữ lắm Thì lúc bây giờ có ai mà hát hò gì nhiều đâu mà vô bệnh viện thì làm sao mà hát được Mà chị tôi xung phong lên là hát Cứ mỗi buổi chiều làm việc xong giúp đỡ trong bệnh viện bệnh nhân xong là chạy lên cái đài phát thanh đó là hát mấy ông bác sĩ thích lắm cho nên là cuối cùng chữa được bệnh cho cha tôi và giữ lại trong một cái phòng đặc biệt đó chứ không phải là cho đi ra ngoài nằm như những bệnh nhân kia cứ giữ thế mà chữa bệnh cho cha tôi bớt được về nhà cha tôi ông cứ nói tao sống được là nhờ con đó con à không nói gì hết à, nói với em là thì cha em mà em sống em được là thương. nhờ 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 chị của mày đó chị mày nó giỏi lắm lần là... nó làm lăn lộn vô bệnh viện nó lo lắng nó làm hết sạch công việc ai cái gì gì nó giúp đỡ hết trơn hết trọi rồi xong chiều rảnh rang thì lại lên trên sân khấu trong bệnh viện đó hát hát cho mấy bác sĩ nghe mà mấy bác sĩ đó quý chị mày ghê lắm mà thích ăn nói đủ thứ chuyện chuyện gì không thể làm được hết trơn ờ wow. à, mới thấy là lúc à, đó phải, mà phải thay thay, yeah. thay những cái kim thay kim. đó thay kim thay băng IV á. kim gì chuyện rum á rum, à, thay hết cả một đêm tôi phải đi coi sóc mấy cái này mà mà, mà thay 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 serum hoặc là thay uh, hoặc là uh, làm lớn làm nhỏ hoặc là yeah. những chuyện gì họ kêu mình phải chạy đâu yeah. and uh, the nurse is in the hospital you know uh, day or night they are uh, yeah. very relaxed and they trust me so much they let me do everything <laughs> taking care of the patients yeah. Yeah. at night and changing the uh, uh, serum you know the how you say the IV yeah or regulate it and you know walk around looking Which one run too fast, which one run too slow, I regulate all that and I change it. I could even do IV myself. Yeah, because my father also taught me already at home before. I had to do it sometime for him. Yeah, he cannot do it for himself. Yeah, you know, like uh, you can do many things. You can, you can uh, put a, a needle into your arm here maybe, but it's better somebody else do it. And if it's IV, it's more difficult. If some medicine, you have to put it in the... Uh, in the vein, you know, here, then you have to be more, more precise. Yeah. Otherwise, it's hurting people and it doesn't come in the vein. Yeah. Or behind the butt here, it's uh, more difficult to to do it yourself. Yeah. So I, sometimes I have to help to do it for my father. Mm-hmm. He can't do it for himself. So he trained me a little bit like that. So over there in the hospital, I did all that for all the patients. The nurse is just uh, relax and. Or sleep, you know. <laughs> I did everything, so they like me very much. They let me stay in that intensive care room even, because I'm so clean. I clean all the, you know, the, uh, the, 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 
the stools from the patient, patient because they're all laying there. They cannot, they cannot walk to the toilet, so I have to clean their toilet uh, bed pen, yeah, all the time. Clean and wash and sterilize, bring it back there. And whoever wants it, just call me. <laughs> the nurse don't do it, didn't do it anymore. So they keep me there until my father better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, even though it's so full, the hospital is full. Because it's a, a war time, you know, very difficult to lay there for months. No, more than a month, maybe two months. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't let it just for bleeding the nose yeah. like that. Yeah. And later his bleeding stopped. Đó quý vị thấy không? Trong bệnh viện, ví dụ như bây giờ mình đi vô bệnh viện mình nuôi người thân của mình, có ai mà đi chạy tới chạy lui mà làm những cái việc như vậy không? Mà sư phụ làm hết. Không phải làm vậy họ mới cho ở đó. Làm như vậy thì à. họ mới cho cha mình nó đó, đó được lâu. Với lại cho à. cho chị ở luôn sát bên nó nằm ngủ dạ, với cho, chân giường. Cho đó. phép à. nằm ở đó chứ lẽ ra là không cho người nhà nằm ở bên bên cạnh Tại bệnh nhân đâu. Cái chỗ đó là intensive care là nó kêu bằng gì không biết. Không chăm sóc đặc biệt. À, à chăm sóc đặc biệt. Đó. À, dạ. à, ngủ ở dưới cái chân giường của ông già đó. Dạ. Ngủ sát đêm tận có chuyện gì kêu liền có chuyện gì kêu liền. Mãi về sau mà khi mà ông cụ bớt bệnh rồi là về nó miết cái câu chuyện đó à, Không nghe, không nghe ông nói à, Nó miết, nó hết người này tới kể người kia tới kể hết cho người này nghe, người kia nghe Mà em nghe thuộc lòng tới bây giờ luôn hả? Hèn dạ. chi? Bởi à. vậy em nghĩ sao mà giỏi quá vậy Hát hò lăn lộn làm những cái việc như vậy Mà hồi nhỏ chị tôi học rất là giỏi, giỏi lắm lận Cho tới bây giờ những người bạn bè học chung lớp với chị vẫn cứ hỏi hỏi thăm và nó hồi đó Hồi đó chị của của em học giỏi lắm là bản danh dự dán đây nha, bằng khen dán đây nha. Okay. Ờ, học giỏi lắm là đi đâu mấy, người ta cũng thương mấy. Dạ. Ta nhớ thương dữ lắm, ai cũng nhắc nhở hỏi thăm hoài. <cười> mẹ hát con khen hay. <cười> My own sister praise me. <cười> I feel like... I feel like Câu chuyện know. như vậy cũng kể cho quý vị nghe cho vui thôi. Dạ. Tùy quý vị nhận xét ạ. À. Dạ, em xin ha hết <cười> tại vì em mà nói tốt cho chị giống như mẹ hát con khen hay chị thấy mắc cỡ chút vậy thôi chứ không có gì mà sao một thuộc hết trơn nha sự thật mà chị không à. có thêm bớt gì yeah. không có thêm yeah. bớt gì yeah. à. nói việc với chuyện với phật mà đâu có nói à. thêm bớt dối okay. dối gian là không được không có gì dĩ nhiên rồi dạ yeah. nói là nói giỡn vậy thôi dạ yeah. giỡn vậy thôi chứ em đâu có nói ráo bao giờ dạ yeah. yeah. she is very very good uh, uh, so sweet you know very lovey dovey yeah. <cười> yeah so sweet the real vietnamese girl <cười> She, she is an English teacher in Vietnam. Huh? Mm. And now uh, her, many of her students became these officers and that uh, officer in, in Vietnam, you know, uh, high rank. So when whenever they see them, I heard that, oh, they carry her up and <laughs> hurrah, and they love her very much. You know, the students, the elder students. But she looked like still very young, you know. Yeah. She retired already. Can you believe that? Yeah. So young and no wrinkle, nothing. Yeah. <cười> Nói còn trẻ không có nhăn nhó gì mặt hết. Yeah. Chắc là ít phiền não chứ gì ha. Có chồng cưng, có con ngoan, ít phiền não. Còn tôi thì không có chồng mà con thì không có ngoan lắm. <cười> con nhiều quá. <cười> okay. So you know some of my secret. <cười> that uh, some of some of the detail i did not even know hmm. yeah but i heard about the the crawling over the bamboo bridge you know because uh, in in the old time or rural area you know over the over the small river or uh, i remember it was like a river because the water run very fast also yeah maybe a stream but big stream uh, Uh, okay, you you get your ear back, huh? Because I speak <laughs> speak Vietnamese to my my sister. Get your ear back. Uh, uh, in... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay, never mind. I talk in English. <laughs> you got all your ears up already? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to speak English now. It's troublesome, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry we are not so equipped like the United Nation. <laughs> okay, everybody can hear now? Can hear now? Yeah, okay. Um I forgot. Yeah, I, I heard about that, but not so detailed like 
like the way uh, my parents told to my sister. Maybe I heard it only once, but she heard it again, again, and again, because <laughs> I was not home, and they probably missed me, so they keep talking. That's why she remember more detail. It's just an uh, uh, evening, uh, that is a special station, you know, for intensive caring, and normally they did not want to, uh, but then after they, they keep my father there until he's better, until he's good. And I, I'm, I'm allowed to stay inside that ward, not outside in the hotel. Right. Yeah, be, I sleep next to my father's bed, you know, uh, uh, on the floor, on the cold floor. I don't remember having blanket or anything. Lucky over there is uh, warm weather, you know. Yeah, and then at that time, uh, I was eating just vegan actually, <laughs> no vegetarian. Yeah, pure, you know. And then uh, sometime my mom, father, uh, you know, uh, woke up, you know, and asked me if I eat. I said, yes, I, I did eat outside. You know, and there's a small restaurant outside in uh, outside of the hospital, uh, next to the gate. You know? <laughs> I think I told you some of this story. Yeah? No? Maybe in Chinese? No? Oh no, maybe I just talked to some of the group without any official microphone. Uh, I told one time because of the poem I wrote. <laughs> uh, the uh, the wild angel, yeah. Thiên thần hoang dại đó, hoang dại đó. And that is this is my first love. <laughs> uh, the boy, you know, also he he's. I think I was 14 and he's 13. He's one year younger than me, but he's very going on toward me, very strongly, you know, very man-like, invites me for coffee and all that. And and uh, I say, wow, you look very like, uh, you are like the boss everywhere, huh? Are you kind of boss in type? He said, yeah, especially in a coffee shop, meaning he pays. <laughs> you know, he orders and he pays. He, he doesn't uh, let me pay my part. That's what he meant, yeah. He's very mature, but because he's one year younger, so I was feeling very guilty. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's why I never let him know my affection, nothing. And so I, when I went back, my father better already, because I didn't write a poem there because I was too busy, but when I went back to another place, you know, near my school, I went to school at that time in high school, you know. I think it's senior or junior. Lớp đề tam là là lớp tám à? Đề tam. I think senior. Ah, oh, lớp mười ha. Okay. Uh, senior high high higher high high school, not not low high school. Yeah. And then, but uh, because my father is sick, so I took off. Yeah, yeah. But later. So I, I missed the uh, the semester, um, the end of the year uh, examination, exam. But later the teacher let me do it alone when I came back. <laughs> Only me alone, <laughs> nobody else. Everybody else already, you know, finished school and went out. Summertime already done. But uh, because I say my father's sick and all that, so they let me <laughs> have an <a> exam. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. And... Um, uh, during the time I took care of my father, I was always inside there, and I also took care of his father. His father was, uh, I don't know, some some problem that he. I think he he cut his wrist to die. Yeah, yeah. He was a doctor. His father, yeah. But then he he committed suicide. But at that time, when I was there, he was not dying yet. He was ill, you know. Uh, but I don't know. And then later he died. He died. Yeah, and during that time, because I'm always there, and he came visit his father, so you know he he knew me. He invited me for coffee and all that stuff. Yeah, and then <laughs> coming on, you know, very strong teenage love. <laughs> it's my first love, <laughs> if you can call that love. I never even hold his hand and never even talk any lovey dovey, nothing. Yeah, I was very introvert at that time. Uh, my sister is very more very open you know expressive she's good she's good <laughs> yeah i was never very expressive 
Yeah. And then he's younger, one year younger. You know, I feel like he's my brother, your younger brothers. Or I, I feel very guilty, you know, embarrassed. Yeah. So later I wrote the poem, you know, the the wild angel. Yeah, they made it into a song, Vietnamese song. I'm not, don't know if you heard about it, if it's translated in SMTV or not. Yeah, uh, and then uh, because of that, you know, we. They collected this poem and then they want to translate it into Chinese. Or maybe that's why I told them why about this poem. Maybe that's why I mentioned a little bit how that poem came about and where I met him. And what is the background of that? Maybe I told like that, but maybe it's never recorded. I remember. He remember. You remember? Yeah. Yeah? In Chinese? No, I don't know, but I saw it on the video. No, the story or the poem? The story. Oh, yeah, then I told, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With your father in the hospital and you taking Yeah, my, my father was in. So uh, he asked me if I eat, my father, and I said, yes, I eat. And he asked me, what did I eat? He worried because I'm the only one there. And he loves me. So I said, yeah, I eat a vegetarian food. Yeah. He said, why? We have money. Uh, our family have money. Why eat vegetarian? You feel sorry for me, you know, like as if I worry that we don't have money. Yeah. He say, he say, take money, go eat something proper. I say, no, I'm eating vegetarian. I'm praying because uh, I pray to the Buddha to bless you mm. uh, so that you recover quickly, not because we don't have money. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't tell you this, huh? Không có nói cái này hả? Ông có nói không là ông nói mà em quên. Dạ. Ông có nói cái vụ mà chị hai ăn chay, chị ba ăn chay đâu? Dạ, ông biết em quên em biết cái này. Ah, okay, okay. À, có cái đó nữa. À, có cái đó nữa. À. Um, because normally I eat a vegetarian with my grandmas à, so, sometimes, but over there I ate the whole time when my father was in the hospital. Yeah. And he, he felt like I don't have enough nutrition because my father, mother, that I don't know what a vegetarian. You know, he thought, but why? Our family has money. <laughs> why? <laughs> he felt like it's a poor thing, you know? Yeah. So I explained to him, I'm just eating to pray for you, to have the merit, so to give it to you so you can get uh, recover quickly. Yeah. So he invited me to eat some pho and all that. I said, no, uh, you know, the boyfriend, <laughs> the lover boy <laughs> invited me to eat uh, some Vietnamese with the meat stuff, you know. I said, no, no, I'm vegetarian. Yeah, because uh, my father is sick. <laughs> so I remember that as well. And then I, I, I remember, I heard that after, I'm not home, but he came one time visit our family, no? You know that or not? Yeah, okay, I visit, but I'm not there. I was probably already in England. Mm -hmm. I heard my mother mention quickly like that. <laughs> you meet him ever again? No. He came again? No. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. He probably was in the army, you know, and by the way, passing by the house and asking for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't there. That's it, you know. It's not much in our family. <laughs> okay. And now you know, huh? Yeah. Because I was, uh, I know Buddhists, you know, at that time. And if you're vegetarian, you have married and all that stuff, even already. <laughs> yeah. And my grandma, grandma, she vegetarian, uh, almost like convenient method. <laughs> yeah. And she recite the Buddha's name every day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I know about this Buddhist and vegetarian stuff. Maybe from her, yeah. Um, but he didn't tell you that, huh? He tell? Có nói không? Quên hả? Không nói nhưng mà cái bà nội thì ăn chay tới giờ phút chót, tới chết luôn. Oh, okay. My grandma after. Làm tuổi hồn. Yeah, yeah. Phật. She ate uh, vegetarian until the day she died, and she recited Buddha every day with the the beads, you know. Yeah, telling bits every day. She lived until 105 years old. Yeah. And all her life, she didn't really eat much of luxury stuff or nothing. Even before that, you know, uh, mostly she eat vegetarian. It's not the way we eat it even. Very simple. 
some like maybe some mango with uh, soya sauce and rice or some peanuts crushed roasted crushed peanut or sesame or water spinach together or something from the garden or fruit that's it and she lived until 105 so maybe if you want to live long eat like that <laughs> Huh? I live like long life. I live long life. Oh, thank you. Who knows? <laughs> if I'm of any good use, then I should live long. If not, then it's useless. The body useless. Live long or live short, right? It's not how long you live. It's how how you live, right? Mm. Okay. Any more thing? You know a story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> You want to tell them some story of my life or something? Come on, yeah, girl. Thank you, thank you. She's beautiful, huh? Yeah. So young looking. I saw her in Hong Kong 30 some years ago or 20 years ago. She looked the same. Yeah. She looked the same. Uh, only I look different. <laughs> I and my elder sister, we, we grow old quick, but she doesn't. She and her, my mother <laughs> don't seem to grow old. They have beautiful skin, you know, and very young looking. Yeah. Okay, nothing else? No? Yeah? No? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going, huh? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Come on. Come on. All right, yeah? Every party has to end sometimes, yeah? Yeah, then good night. You're Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No more questions? No more stories? Nothing? <laughs> Uh, is it good the story my sister told you good? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't believe it, Okay. Thank God I love you, but I have to go. I really love you guys. Some people stay until when? When is the last one going? Mấy người Việt Nam ở đây mùng 2 hả? Rồi ở đâu nữa? Ở mấy nữa? Mùng 3. Mùng 3. Okay. You can stay until the 3rd. Because somebody stay until the 3rd anyway. If you can change your ticket, I don't know. 3rd or 4th, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. If you want, huh? Yeah. Tomorrow is what? The 1st? No, no, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Oh, you just stay three, four more days because my sister wanted to stay a couple, you know, two, three more days. So, by the way, if some can stay, then some more can stay. It doesn't matter, okay, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But don't stay longer than that because nobody will be here to cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> they have to go because visa, because we have to room up or whatever, yeah? But later, if we have a better place, it will safer to stay long or bigger place, and you can stay as long as you want. You know? If you behave. <laughs> Later, maybe, you know, who knows, if you practice well, we have more blessing, yeah? Collective blessing, huh? Not uh, my blessing. I am blessed everywhere. <laughs> I have a lot of houses, just we cannot stay long. Yeah? But good for, good for, for you to stay here, huh? Not bad, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> I love to stay in such a place, so small. Okay, I love you too. Okay. <coughs> Can stay until three, four, okay, huh? Okay. And no more after because they have to go. Yeah. I mean, the, the staff. Yeah. Okay, huh? 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 Ok